Welcome to KJ Disc. We are watching the Copenhagen Open. And I'm Matisse Eskan. This is KJ Naibo. Yeah! Two handsome lads. <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. <laughs> Back to second round of uh, Copenhagen Open 2022. Powered by Prodigy Discs. Oh, yeah. This is the European Pro Tour. And you're seeing inserts there of a Finnish guy throwing the disc. And we're gonna see a lot more of them. Oh, there's a highlight putt from round one. Yeah. You played a great it. round one, but we aren't seeing you on this card. No. At the top of the leaderboard, we have Daniel Davidson and then a lot of Finnish people. Yeah. So we still have some Danes in top 10, that's nice, but after round one, it seems clear that the Finnish people, they are, they mean business. It is uh, mostly uh, white and blue uh, on the flag, yeah, that's true. And here we have our Danish hope, Benjamin Bugge, local yeah. guy from Velby. Rated 9.29, he's uh, a local guy, he's playing all around in, in uh, Copenhagen area. And a Finnish guy, Levi. Oh, yeah? okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. You got it. <laughs> nice save. Yeah. And uh, Ville. Ville. Oh, class. Strong player. Rating 10 10. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Also a little looking, looking fresh. And Mikael Heme. Yeah. <sighs> playing with Inua, one of uh, my teammates. And here we are at hole one. 175 meters. What's the key? What's it's the secret? It's a par four here. You want to land it and keep it low of these branches here. Even kind of in between, but low. Left of these two right trees and land right about here. It's a great spot and have a short upshot. Maybe like 60 meters and OB left and right here. And long as well. So, and you're playing uh, for the skip here, right? Yeah, yeah. You're playing for Heiser with s some still straight forward progress on the flight, and then uh, finishing left with that Heiser skip. And you don't want to be too left, like that is kind of okay. You don't want to be left in those flowers, so he's and just out of it. The lilies are in bounds, yeah. but uh, the course will not like you if you cut off the beautiful flowers. No, and so it's it's like a Rosen Garden. So we play around the Rosen Garden right now, and uh, there is crazy many thorns in there. So it's a uh, natural OB, but OB here as well because of time. See, uh, Michael here. Playing. Getting that skip, yeah, big little, skip. Little, little early, but but still in good position for birdie. And, and uh, here is our Danish champion. Yeah, nice bird he has there. Some nice glasses as well, looking fresh. And this looks a little early. Oh, yeah, inside the fence. Inside the fence. That is ob. I think it's only uh, maybe. ob if you like slide under it. I think a hit is safe. Yeah. So he's just taking uh, relief. Oh, so there's relief in those, huh? Man-made object. Yeah, because the, the OP is, it starts first right, at, right on the right here. Like that pole is OB. But he must have been very pinched because yeah. he did not uh, no. get up very far. Yeah. Birdie it's, it's is out tough, of the question. tough position here. It is possible to get a birdie with a straight you gotta throw a little lower, but that—that's. Oh yeah. He went for the birdie, or <laughs> maybe even the eagle. That is ob though. The eagle. That went long eagle. and didn't heiser enough. Uh, too straight. Do you think he was thinking eagle just to start the no. round? No. No. He was trying to pin it like that. Yeah. That's a good shot. And as you and mentioned, is... he's pin. He's pinched. Yeah, he is, huh? Wow. But you cannot see the f the basket where he's from or where he's standing right now, 
But uh, he knows, and that skip will be just perfect. Probably a AVR X3 or something. I'm not sure. But uh, and it's uh, Benjamin again. Third shot. Yeah. Oh no, it's looking too straight, but no, no, it, it should be fine, perfect. Yeah. And that's was that a was that a Gasterplast uh, Burke? Oh, was it? Oh. oh no, that was supposed to stick. That was trying to save his par there. Yeah, and that was from OB. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. In in. For par here. So he saves the par after the unfortunate inside drive yeah and Vila cleaning up his bird ah uh, par I thought there was a birdie no and here we go birdie nope no par. Why, what <laughs> yeah well and here we have the bogey the OB bogey okay here we are at hole number two yeah, 143 uh, meters. You gotta get out of this tunnel. Yeah, it's a very uh, tight gap, and um, this uh, bush on the left is kind of annoying. Um, this tree and all those rhododendron bushes is also. These trees, you gotta kind of go over those or go low under the. Because they are grabby. They are pretty grabby, yeah. They get sneaky. Yeah, you gotta Phantom be precise branches. on your upshot, but this is a very demanding, low sealed, straight shot you want here with a kind of straight finish. You can, you can also go go just straight with the heiser finish. Oh yeah, oh. you see that branch kind of just kicked him down. And the landing so you want is out by the path yeah that is in this case not ob so you want to clear the trash can there there you and go and clear oh. the rhododendron bushes oh. unfortunately so that's, none of that's looking good but that's heising too much that's good no that's oh, just perfect i got through even too long wow yeah, he's gonna have uh, an obstructed look from over there. Yeah, but there is a possibility. And, and you're blind to the basket from there. Yeah, but there is a shot that way as well. That's pretty good. Just outside the circle. Yeah, none of these uh, drives are ideal, um, but, but they managed to like yeah, kick out of that bush so that they at least have like. Yeah, really is going. Going short, uh, not daring. You can see the pin from there, so it's a, uh, it's it's not an easy shot. No, oh no, yeah, leaving him with the uh, outside the circle pot. That you don't want to. And he hit the gap perfect, and he is left with this. Yeah, yeah. It was just oh, too far. High. Wow, that is high. Gotta release the disc at some point. Yeah. That was hanging a little bit in his fingers or something. You don't want to leave yourself with a, a very long putt here because it is OB like three, four meters after the basket. Opposed to last round, the wind is a little more calm here, so these guys can actually give it a bid. Yeah. You don't have to worry too much about the wind taking the disc and going long OB. That's I remember you were pretty sad that you had to lay up. Yeah, in the first <laughs> round, yeah. 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 Yeah, this is... Uh, nope. oh, oh. Just not high enough. The camera is not being nice to these guys so far. We got a bunch of pars yeah. and a bogey. Yeah, yeah good. It's spring here, so the grass is green, but the scorecard is not so yet. Yeah. You're expecting more from the chase card, right? Yeah, I would say so, but it is, you know, either you get this hole or you, you don't. Um, I think it's, it's definitely that upshot is the most, uh, or the drive and then making a, a good, good upshot as well. But here, hole three, 
It's par 3, 95 meters. It is uh, probably a sidearm most of these players will, will do. And uh, it's going a little downhill and the slope is, um, is sloping from right to left. So it will skip up the hill. This looks pretty good. Maybe a little wide, yeah. Like we did see here, it, it got stopped in those bushes. But very low. Very nice low. And, low. And, 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 and low is good here, I would say. This is this is looking okay too, but maybe a little oh, right. Nice. No, that's good. Yeah. That will leave him here with the pot. Inside the circle. In, inside the circle, yeah. Nice glasses. He's yeah. Got a lot of swag. Yeah. Let's see if Benjamin. he can transfer that swag into his forehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little short, but inside the circle, just uh, nine, nine meters, I would say. And so far, only forehands. Disc golf stream. Everybody scream. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was screaming for the bushes there. It was screaming for the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Benjamin for birdie. Come on. Ah. Oh. Good putt, though. Just a little left. It had the height. Yeah, good spin. For and only par. a par. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be in those bushes. You can have a tough lie in there. And you can be like very close to the basket oh. and you don't have a putt. Yeah, because you got I... no low, like you can't get any power from your body. That was just all wrist and elbow. Like. Yeah. And there's no gardeners on this greenkeeper team here. On the disc golf course, we are not allowed to do anything uh, on, on the course. This Even is the last of the new three holes designed specifically for the tournament. So yeah. uh, hands are tied as what to escape landscape. Wow! That's Here we are so at hole number on. four. OB1. Yeah, you want to keep it low here. Uh, sidearm or backhand roller and and land just before these trees or keep on going with that roller most uh, sidearm will will be before those trees and then it's kind of tucked in uh, in this little gap here you want to hit this gap on the right side you don't want to get into those bushes on the left it is it is more clean now than, than it has been but uh that tree on the left is, is grabbing a lot of disc if you go on the left side on your approach. And so, I, I noticed that a lot of the locals go uh, backhand, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say so too. Oh, he's too. lining up uh, roller. Yeah. Oh, oh that oh. is too high. You want to really there. put that down quite early. And uh, you're going to throw sidewinder up. Uh, Here's uh, no. the roller. Road, road runner, oh, that's not that's not going to get in. Yeah. That's going to hit those banners. I Do you think it would have gone uh, come back? I did totally the same thing on, on this uh, same round. I got OB as well. On and you can only on, wonder. On hitting those banners. You can only wonder. And and the wind was, was uh, helping the roller, but it was yeah. tailwind. And uh, it could have gone in just... Uh, but I was a little white, and he was <laughs> he was white too. You know. Yeah. But um, and then he needs it turned over now, or else. It does, but it doesn't. It's stay. going too long, huh? Yeah, on that corner, it's no good. On that corner, there is some sneaky routes from back there, but they are very tight. Yeah, Benjamin's approach here. Poof. Was he OB there? Or? Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Look at all the that pollen just that popping roller, out huh? of that birch tree. Yeah, straight. And you can't but, but be a, a disc golf player in Finland if you have pollen allergies to birch trees. <laughs> no. They're very it's, accustomed. Yeah, it's all over Finland. 
hold that turn a little bit oh that's looking good good yep. shot good shot unfortunately to not slide there hitting hitting the the tree or a stump or something he's gonna be obstructed from yeah, over there that's but that's what i'm talking about this tree uh, uh, you want to go uh, over it or uh, something yeah that's leaving him inside the circle maybe seven eight meters should you maybe even have gone like a like a soft forehand roller there to get around yeah yeah you could do that that's true i should probably have done that <laughs> <laughs> oh man just That's the second, hitting the uh, basket and chaining out second hole in a row he left himself with some difficult putts Ooh, straight putt slides. leaving it right and still have a comebacker oh. oh no that's that's so tough Look at him leaning against that tree. Yeah. Just considering yeah, what life is. He's hiding, man. He's hiding behind that tree. <laughs> but we got some birdies. Yeah. Mikael is starting the birdie bogey. party. With nice. Two birdies and in a, a row. double bogey for Benjamin as well. That's Two nice. doubles. That's it's not what uh, you want to see from uh, our Danish local. No. Plenty of time for comebacks. Here's an island hole. Yeah. So this is actually my design here, but um, the the gardener that uh, that is taking care of the Weltbeparken didn't like it, so they shaped it right as well the tree. Uh, so it doesn't make sense the hole anymore. Not too bad, but it's um, it's it, they made it an uh, island green, so so the hole is is it's just a little more tough here. And there's OB on, uh, you see the flags, and you can go easily go OB long as well. Yeah, it's like uh, the OB is a perfect circle, uh, but uh, and then it's like that little pond took a bite yeah. out of the circle. Yeah. Like a crescent moon. This is looking good. Is that a mid-range? I like it. It could be a putter even. It that was straight looked, and soft. That looked really good from Vila. This is Benjamin. His sidearm here. Skip. Oh, Come on, skip. Yeah, 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 that's good. Just inside, I would say. He could give us a star frame. Oh, man. Come again. Yeah, that is definitely inside the circle. That is seven, seven, eight, maybe even less. A lot of weight on yeah. his shoulders, yeah. uh, being good. the only Danish. Uh, guy that on was a, either of the cards yeah that is a turkey from Mikkel he's getting hot and a birdie from Vila he's smiling <gasps> he's feeling it yeah one of our spotters here Copenhagen open that was uh, some good uh, good helpers here so we got a we got a finish star frame yeah that's true this is hole six, I part love this three. Hole. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, 85 meters. You want to land it with slightly any right here and slide to the pin. Um, it is. It you could go backhand or sidearm, but um, I would suggest a backhand with a slight any from the start. And there's a little room over there to the right. He didn't hit uh, like the center gap in the middle, but there is room over there to the right. Yeah, that tree that Ooh, that is did not flip. Kind of half of it right there is tilted, and half of it died during a storm, and uh, it is still there. So, but it 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 was uh, standing before. You can see, wow, that is just perfect. Good shot. And Levy uh, got a nice kick before as well. He went, uh, hit a tree on the left side and kicked him into circle one. So you see, this is the side arm uh, going a little too left of what you want and hitting that big tree. This is some old, old big trees right here. 
and uh, see the lift this was that a berg i've yeah, been told it, that it you probably uh, is the berg always lands under the basket <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh. oh man well if you catch a good break and a kick that gets you inside a circle one you have to yeah you have to take advantage of it it seems that Benjamin is making his par pots, but uh, the birdies are... He's leaving those behind him. But uh, Mikael is he making some, a move here. He's got some whip on that pot. Yeah. Four birdies in a row. Yeah, that's great. And he's not far uh, behind the leader, so keep that up and... Yeah, this is hole seven. It's called pinball hole. Pinball hole. It is um, 86 meters. It's kind of short, but it's very tight. When you hit a tree, you want to hit the next tree. So hit one, and then a second tree to put it down. You want to hit two. <laughs> one to oh, see, he only hit one tree. But still getting move oh, move um, moving forward. That is the most important here, I would say. If you're not moving forward or kicking to the left or the right, then it's um, scramble mode. That was from that, the that, that was better than that hitting two just trees. Perfect. Very nice of Ville. One. Yeah. Uh, Damn. Only one tree. Yeah. That was not enough. He needed at least another one. <laughs> <laughs> Only one tree yeah. again, and and need more. he used the big one here. No, it's it's quite easy to hit a tree here. I uh, I did it myself, and uh, was scrambling hard in this round. Yeah, that's a good up, leaving him with the putt inside the circle, maybe seven seven meters. The scramble mode on your knee doing an any sidearm with the putter and it's kind of floating a little bit but it's probably thick. inside inside the circle it is a glow burke he's he's throwing i think that uh he had he had it in his hand oh nice from benjamin leaning uh, it on the pin you don't have to do any putting no you can see he's been on his knee there. Yeah, good putt for the bogey. Well, yeah. good putt is a good putt, regardless of the score. Yeah. Mikel getting his par. Ending his uh, hot bogey streak. Yeah. Sad. Sad way to end it on, on the pinball hole. Oh, but, that uh, was uh, Mikel that year. missed... Uh, the putt for a par and Ville, who did the birdie, who now has a turkey going. Oh, nice. So this is hole eight. It's a par four. It is kind of my design here. I designed it like you got to land it up by these trees up here. And uh, you can go backhand or sidearm. But this is a good place to be and you can even... Go through those trees. Go through those trees. We have a crazy roller if the wind is right. And um, yeah, we mentioned before that here. we mentioned before that in our pre preview video of this tournament, you uh, uh, put down a roller that went all the way. Yeah, yeah, you can. This is a good shot. That is a great shot, and it's it's good to be on the right side here as well. It's not often I'm I'm over there. And this oh, is a there's roller. the roller. Yeah. As KJ promised would work. Yeah. Yeah, but still, you can manage to get a birdie from in there. It's, uh, but there is some small branches and trees, but, um, it it's, it's just you and me here. Can you please admit that you threw that roller in that video just to throw them off? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. It's, here's a good sidearm getting all the movement to the right and uh, that's a perfect spot to be that is the main gap he's pinched off and going into Ooh, air sneaking through wow. nice very nice flexes wow back. man that was a tight tight gap and uh that 
I don't know if that was on purpose, but it it didn't look like it. I'm sorry, but maybe it was. I'm sorry, Benjamin, if it was. He has a nice yeah, look. You gotta keep that drive low. And if you don't think about it, you're going to hit something high here. Yeah, you see, this is his uh, roller. Oh, yeah, he hit something there. Yeah. You know, sometimes you talk about if a hole is being played the way it was intended. Yeah. Since you designed the hole. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. it's right or wrong. I uh, totally. <laughs> so I did that a few few years back. I had a very good spot here. I like this tree on the right side over here. So I made like an upshot basket to this hole just for practice, different shots. So uh, I made like um, five holes around this area and uh, all of them were shooting into this uh, small pan kind of uh, and uh, and it's not there anymore but but it's it was it was fun and it was some good upshot practice where you're gonna still you could make make it go in the basket if you had a real good shot this is a good it, it was a good practice area and you cannot do that anymore because there's so many people out there at, at Velby Park if you don't know, this is the second most played course on, on U-Disc. Which you can tell by the way the ground is stomped down everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And this is this is kind of the spring. Um, you can see the trees are not sprouting yet, but uh, soon all the burning nettles will uh, appear and, and grow high. Uh, and they cut the grass like maybe three or four times a year on on the bigger well he uh, cut a branch for wow. you right there <laughs> that was great <laughs> he made that job easier yeah. now he just has to hit the same gap oh no he goes straight flat yeah maybe a skip will help him yeah 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 that is just outside the circle that's good and then benjamin come on oh no oh, i'm sorry that tree is is pretty close to your drive and you got to keep it pretty oh, tight to that tree. he goes all the way around. He does not want to mess with that tree. No, but the wind is is uh, coming from the right, so it kind of helps that hyzer. Uh, and this is, he was he was even long on this, uh, on the drive. He, he just wanted more, more right to left. But uh, Benjamin here is having a tough lie and this is going to be a, a very good scramble for par here if, if he's going to make that putt. That was a nice turnover uh, forehand. Yeah. Rare shot. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's a. I would say I don't know if he's a co-dominant sidearm player. He likes sidearm and he's a good sidearm player. Yeah. Just not hitting any metal at all. I like uh, Vila's form though on his oh. putts. Oh. Yeah. Platan tree. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It is yeah. a little windy here. Oh no! Oh. Just when I said so, the wind picked his disc and kind of just turned it. 12 meters. Oh, oh draining the return pot there for Bogey. Great, great pot. Yeah. Those are so hard if you miss a putt and go way long. Yeah. You just have the confidence to step up there and yeah. make a comeback like that. Especially it was even further away. It was, yeah, yeah, totally. And especially in this wind, it is not easy to putt when the flag is blowing like that. And so uh, that was uh, front nine. Yeah. Um, so we that was we uh my uh, Mikael Hemme put together a nice uh, front nine with yeah. minus four. But middle, besides that, the middle part was very good. Oh, we still we we're seeing some people struggling. KJ Disc, so, like and subscribe, and come back for the back nine and popcorn it up. <laughs> <laughs>